To God be the glory. Bless our morning to each and one in the name of the Lord. We are thankful to be here in the name of Jesus Christ. No other name under the heaven we must be saved by the name of Jesus. I thank God that he has kept you all and kept me and kept us so that we can be able to see another Sunday, that we can be able to worship together in spirit and in truth. We pray, God, that today as we gather here, our hearts will join together in our oneness, in love and peace. The same way we left the last week, last Sunday, the same way we will continue and be better. I take the opportunity now to welcome each and every one. I was told that um, Sister Alana I said, right, raise your hand for me, please. I mean, that make you God, God bless you as you are in um, your, 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 your first country. No, your, your second country. The first one is to be good, right? So we thank God today. We have um, we have with us again uh, Steve Drayton and uh, all the other anybody, anybody else we have here that um, raise your hand. We got the children. Oh, yeah. oh everybody, I got this here in Jesus' name. I pray for so thank God for you. And I pray God that you will be able to use what if you didn't sing, if you didn't pray. If you didn't do anything, use your power so that you the people will be able to know that you're a child of God. We thank God to you. From that distance, you travel to come here and you still remember your church. I remember when you all used to um, die below those trees. Wow, Lord have mercy. From little bit, you are Nikki and all of them. But nevertheless, some are still here as yourself. And uh, every Sunday, we um, take the opportunity to. Call your name and because you listen and and and, and, and yeah. So we are going to begin our service now and let everything be done according to God's will. So we are done. Um, I will sing a class of five for years. Um, brother, my God bless you and your mothers and each and every one. So we are going to begin our by singing thing number. Two one three. Two one thirteen. Six five. Forward, forward. Always be look, 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 look at your words or listen to your words. If you don't really tune, you could still Lana. Lana, I know you could still Lana. Forward be all watch word. Get and by and voice join. The things before us, not a look behind. Burn, burn the fiery pillar at all armies heart. Who shall dream of shrinking by our captain? Let us all adore it, Almighty God. Almighty in heaven, mighty to save and strong to deliver. We thank you today. Oh God, a day you have set aside wherever we can be able to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord God, Jehovah, we are to take charge of every situation. Oh God, we may look like we are we are pastors, or we are pastors and we are mothers, but Lord, you are the head. And as you are the head, whoever the father be here today, as you was before. You was with God yesterday, today, and forever. You was everlasting and you are still everlasting, God. Teach us how to pray and how to go to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Both now and forever. If number two one to be your stand forward, we are watch God, talk time God to join.
Each and every one of us. Something will guide us to the week which has come on board. I'm bringing up back to where we can worship in the spirit and in the truth. Oh, For yourself, where two or three is gathered, two or three, there you will be, and you'll be in the age of God, look upon us this morning. Lord, I ask you to open your window from heaven today and dispatch your angels of peace, love, and understanding. Lord, and give them orders to shape each and every one of us who is getting it. Lord, our family, this country, their own family. Lord, the ministers have put to teach us the word. You bring the word forth to us today. I ask you, Lord, as you empty them, you fill them back so they could come again. Lord, today I ask you for a special chance, a special blessing, dear Lord Father. Lord, look upon this church. Look upon the congregation, dear Lord Father. Those who make it each and every Sunday to be here to worship in the spirit and in the truth, dear Lord Father. Lord, open our hearts with love, joy, and peace, dear Lord Father. Lord, bless each and every one, dear Lord Father. Bless our going. Bless our coming, dear Lord Father. Lord, where you see we are weak on any side, I ask you to straighten us. The purpose of every bend inside that we will be able to serve in the spirit and in the truth. Lord, watch upon us. Protect us, dear Lord. I ask you once again from all dangers, sin and unseen. Our family near and far. I bring them all before you this morning, dear Lord. Lord, watch me. Guide me. May I continue to pray to worship you in the spirit and in the truth. Bless this church. I ask you once again in no other name but in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My soul say yes, yes, yes. My soul say yes, yes, yes. My soul say yes, Lord. My soul say yes, Lord. My soul say yes.
You got to dance to God, your God. Only glory. Beautiful God. My soul said yes. yes. Thank you. Listen, when I didn't know the Lord, don't back up the world then. Eh? I was coding the world. Then I, a big fan of do this and do that, everything good. Yes, still here, remember that. A former band called Guinness Cabaret doing two panorama. I make two seconds. I was feeling good now. Controlling when I was the vice captain. When I get to go into the heart, then I get to go sweet. The name of the when I get to know who God is, you could imagine. I see good last time because the neighbors, they played music from 8 o'clock till 2 o'clock 9 this morning. But whilst they were doing that, I was praying. Talk to God. We will have our lesson now from our dear reverend, reverend by God. Thank you. Thank you. And it's so nice that um, we can hear our beloved Reverend talk about his achievement. And in spite of what that they will have to keep it when we get to know God, this is most important. I want to read this morning from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Start at verse 8 and see how far we go. Second Corinthians chapter 4, commencing from verse 8. Amen? Amen. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life also of Christ Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, According as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken, we also believe, and therefore speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus, and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundance grace my true the thanksgiving of many redound to glory, the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day, praise the Lord. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. We praise the Lord. Our lesson taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 from verses 8 to 18. Then we join together and say, Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. At this stage, we wish to open the house for testimony and song and praise, and you know, we give God praise. So I, I, I would have seen my good friend, brother. Uh, Jordan, which we go back now, and I think he did he wish to testify to us in song or whatever this morning. So we welcome Praise God, brother. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good day to everyone. Yeah. And I will call it the word of judgment, but it's now. 
Um, he spoke of, he spoke of his achievement and um, he spoke of when he got to know God. But it so happened that yesterday I took time to write down my testimony in song. So this is what it is here. Give God the glory for the wonders he can do. Oh, what sweet mysteries he revealed to me and you. Just trust and believe him each day of your life. Don't do things to grieve him. Give up making strife. Man, know thyself is a statement of long ago. Consult the Bible, for the Bible tells us so. Clean hands, pure hearts, sweet Jesus will accept. The Lord never rejects a forgiven heart yet. Jesus is waiting with his two arms open wide. And man so sinful holding on to his false pride. Jesus the Redeemer. He's present today. He'll take all your troubles and cast them away. Man, know thyself is a statement of long ago. Consult the Bible, for the Bible tells us so. Clean hands, pure hearts, sweet Jesus will accept. The Lord never rejects a forgiving heart yet. Glorify Jesus, cause there is no other name that's filled with substance and the power to sustain when satan confronts you don't stumble and fall remember christ jesus is waiting on your call man know thyself is a statement of long ago Consult the Bible, for the Bible tells us so. Clean hands, pure heart, sweet Jesus will offend. The Lord never rejects a forgiving heart yet. Thank you all. <laughs> Good morning, church. Good morning, everyone. So glad to see you all. I, I have, I'm working on one of my many projects, right? And I need a lot of information for, for this. Well, well, I'm learning accounting, okay? This is one of that is part of one of my projects. So I'm learning accounting. So I need a lot of different information for different aspects. I need to learn accounting too. And most of my information I look for on the web because of how much it is. I can't just go buy books on everything. I can't go register just stuff courses on everything. My schedule wouldn't accommodate it. <laughs> my budget wasn't accommodated, etc. So I look for things on the web. So looking for accounting, I'm looking on the web, looking on the web. I'm trying to find another stuff. But every time I find a page, 
it actually directs me to a consultant service to do accounting for me or to a course or to something that I have to pay for. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for information. I will fit into my budget. And I'm just going to and not getting what I want at all. So I started looking through the books I have in my room. And nothing is there. Well, I have like a few books. Nothing is there. And I'm like, gosh, I don't have this somewhere, gosh. So I went in the shed outside. Yeah, I'm almost there. And thank God, what we get it ahead of time. I found a an accounting book about this thing. It's the it's a real university course textbook that I bought in 2009. God had prepared it long before. And at that time, I wasn't directly looking to learn it, but I bought it. God had prepared it ahead of time. He prepared a lot of stuff. We have to be listening. We have to take his guidance. We have to walk that way. Because we don't have all the plans, but we have the plans. We just have to follow, not even knowing, not knowing the outcome, but follow. And eventually, we will see the outcome. We will see what we have in store, what he needs for us to do, where he needs for us to go. We don't have to see it and understand it in front. Just believe him, accept him. What he is saying, and that's what happened in 2009. We need to have it now in 2020. And I just have a small thing to say again. We always have to have a testimony of God giving something in our lives. We always have a testimony because God is alive. Man. God is good. God has not stopped working. So if he has not stopped working and we are with him, he's supposed to be still working for our team. So we are always supposed to have a testimony for our lives. Praise the Lord. Yes, the Lord. We shall have our grand time. Our pain and our praise the Lord. We shall have our grand time. Our pain and our praise the Lord.
always have a testimony for no parent. The always, and of course, he ever ready. Always ready to do something. 2009, she said, now it's 2022. We are comfortable to be still alive to see God. We are going to take the opportunity now to hear the word of God. No less of course than the word of God. God bless you. When you come, you always say something. <laughs> I of God, because of the mercies of God, we could stand up now as ambassadors, not so? Yeah, we could stand up as ambassadors for Christ, knowing that because of his loving kindness towards us, that we are able to stand and testify the goodness of God. But if I came to Christ, I thought outside there was the real thing, you know, and I thought, oh, you're not there, you're going in a nice place to meet ladies and rum and so on. That was, you know, they thought that in mind. I wish so far, I remember some oh, that little ladies and things like this. I'll give you the other ones, it wasn't the water. When you get it, I'm a real problem. I'm going to be cemetery in the world. I said, well, I would like to get 10 minutes to come back and see who I did it. Yeah, you know, you think that it's not thing, but brother, I'm going to die. That was going to be true. But the idea is how you see Jesus. So I don't work for this privilege. I don't work for who he is. This morning, I want to read a lesson here from uh, taking from, uh, taking from St. John's Gospel, chapter 14. St. John's Gospel, chapter 14, reading from verses 1 to 6. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father and God, I'm about to bring your word this morning, but I go to pray that the Holy Spirit will take full control. Let it not be me this morning, too, but let the Holy Spirit speak to me. That those who are listening to the Lord will be, you know, hear the word and take action accordingly. Because you tell the Lord, if we have to be saved, we must be saved by the saved by the truth of the gospel. And when we hear the word to save us, I will tell you that I will tell you that I will tell you that I will let us not be condemned by your word, Father, but let us be saved by your word. I ask this most you can give no redeem, but you will not give it Jesus Christ. Amen. I think we all know this list. We all know this list. And the reason why I'm reading this this morning is because I normally tell you all around. A word comes to me, a word. Something in the bathroom, something in my bed. So I'm in the mechanic shop. But look at that. Oh, I guess the mechanic shop to ask me if I'm a mechanic. If I'm a mechanic, that's not true. I'm a little mechanic for myself. And a word comes. And the word that came to me lately is prepare. Prepare. So I went into the Bible, look for our scripture where it's prepare is concerned. And this is what it says. Let not your heart be troubled. If believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. And where they go, he know, and the way, he know. Come and say unto the Lord, we know not whether thou west, or how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man from it on the Father, but by the way. God has blessed his words. I lift up words and say, Glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. As was the beginning, it never shall be. Well, without him. Amen. I'm going to say this morning, this wonderful lesson I've already not here this morning is a promise of God. A promise of God to us. And you know, I try to find out the first was let not your heart be troubled. And you know, not too much troubled Christians. Let us be a natural. You have a little of troubled Christian. Everything fights in them. But the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. The Bible says that. God didn't give up no spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. We are not supposed to be fearful, even whatever situation comes our way. We know who we have in charge of our lives, and that is no other person than the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know how much of this is? We have now what we call OP, how we call it? O, the natural disaster, how we call it? O, 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 so, 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 tell me what you know, can you know, so, you don't know what it is? Right? Nice, all this, all this, all this, all this, right? Nice. You know, when the people tell us, now we're writing how it is, it's not good, they tell it to be here. Be here. Hallelujah. And you know we prepare them. Eh? Yes, we prepare. They tell you they love your windows. Get that bars. And so many different things. You tell them get your medical kit. Put all your documents in the plastic. You can't protect it. Yes, why? You know what he said? 
I'm making an extra effort to do that today. And they'll tell you, go and stop the little thing to eat and keep it for 72 hours. Eh? In the morning when you buy anything, I mean, sometimes, we didn't tell them I'm eating nothing at all. Happily, you right? Tell them the stone right there, you right? What I'm trying to say is that we make preparation for every other thing. But we live up one in the middle. We not be playing our souls pretty. We do every other thing. And I was thinking about preparation in general. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I started with some, I went some kind of, kind of road. Go up with a young person, male or female. To parents and child to life. From the time you came to start to help a school, they start to prepare for class. Parents make sure they prepare their children for class. And that preparation, preparation goes from kindergarten right up to university. The parents should go away. They want the best for their children. So they make the extra effort to keep with them. You know, sometimes parents, when they finish paying for trial, feed them up money to buy food. You know that? Very little to buy to eat. Only emphasis on the education of the children, which is good. Because the word of God tells us, the word of somebody wants us to be one, prosperous, and then go here to be prosperous, get our money to survive. So you want us not to be poor. So you want us to be in a position that we can take care of ourselves and that we get older and think and have families and so on. So you get your education, you get your big job, prepare for your house, prepare to buy land, prepare to get married. All that is preparation for the animal body. What about the spiritual side of it? But this morning, the Bible is telling us, let not the heart be troubled. He believed in God. Believe also in me. You know, the day that people don't they believe in God and don't believe in Son Jesus Christ. After the day that people were going on between if Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Still. But Jesus is telling this morning, he believed in God. Father. Believe also in me. So if you had a doubt in our heart that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God this morning, like this morning, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He believe in God. Believe also in me. You know what Jesus is telling me this morning? In my Father's house. Hallelujah. If Jesus Christ is the Son of God, what Jesus is to you and I? Jesus Christ our brother? Yes. Jesus Christ our big brother? What does a big brother do for his followers? Make sure they are totally protected. And they know the kind of thing in school. They know that. He goes to the book of the big brother. He comes in. He's dealing with whoever. So he's a period on that. Something you do, you do the wrong thing. You walk in, you get released. You still don't have a to come and prevent you. Hallelujah. So, my Jesus, my big brother, is telling us this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My own, my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, Jesus cannot lie us up. I would have told you. I, Jesus, go to prepare the place for me. But not to you, prepare. This preparation started from the beginning of time. When the world was of form and void, Jesus picked. Yeah, good for you and I. 
Who would say it? I'm going to say what all the boys said. When you don't, it was all was true. Put the birds in the air, you put the fish in the sea, you put the animals in the field, you put the stars in the air, you put the moon in the air, in the skies. Everything was true. And when it comes to the it was you and I. Nobody to take care of it in the sea. Everything in peace also have a good somebody now to control it. And that's where he made man. He made man in his own image and likeness. But he must. To make an image in the Zemplina, like look at life. And likeness in the wings. To resemble God and behave like God. That's what image and likeness is all about. So when he made man and put him in the clay, you know this story and he put him there and watch him, it's nice, man looking good. I remember he gave me advice to him, also, he like, put his man in the room, like that, he could say, who could say, otherwise, I am the king, I was there. In the image of the likeness of God, I was truly fully and not even fully made, you know. So when he was in the world, he said, I am the king, I am the king, I am the king. If you want to see what I can do, you can't do it. Yeah, and join the right kind in the middle of the world. It would be nice. I think the back of that. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's crazy. Because it's my mother, 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 my my father's house was many nice ones. He repaired heaven with man, put man to rule the universe. The man, and then in the story, Adam came and messed up the whole thing. He had to go and prepare again, you know. When he looked at the city, problem that we had ended up in, to no fault of our sin, did father, father, he often, he often. You see this generation, you know? They have a, they have been a burden in love of, of themselves. So he helped him. The Bible said, What? Well, help us look, search. The earth was so, the little earth was so, and no one was from very deep. So he gave the commandments to so, buy for Adam for So Jesus said, Father, Father, prepare me a body. That I may go down and die for the holidays. First preparation in the world, second preparation on the cross. So we have done it all. And because of the second preparation, we are here this morning to say we are now considered as children of God, sons and daughters of God, because of what God did for John Peter said the back of God. For God to love the world. You know the whole story in that. And the Bible asks, what manner of man will lay down his life for his friend? What manner of love is that? Let me say this. When I think, what I thought, what I think of what, where I was in this world, if I have not been given the second chance to come to, to Jesus Christ, die another cross, and accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, what would my question be? And that answer was all of us. What would my question be? So when I think about the book, and you don't get hallelujah, hallelujah, not a song to say, um, this one I had it in my mind. I am no longer a slave to sin. I am a child of God. I think my sister played an instrumental sometime. Yes. I am no longer a slave to sin. I am a child of God. I stand here this morning with my hand raised. Can I get one? Of 
How much more, how much say, what more, what more can Jesus do? Then, question. Jesus laid the foundation. He opened the gates of mercy. More time. I was in the book, he was in Jesus, how much more, Jesus paid it for us. He did it for us. Hallelujah. And I take this that gift of love of Jesus to make me run this race. I will tell you something, I will run this race. We do not, we do not, we do not bring me on, but we face your own name. Because I will be all set and done. I want to get I want to get my mansion. I want to get my Hallelujah. Some of us will not fortunate on this earth to know what we're going to If you're so hard, if you don't want to get that mansion, not a house, a man, not a mansion is. Mansion is only building. You don't want to see what? Eyes have not seen. And from that here, you don't have entered in the hearts of man what God has. Prepare for us. Hallelujah. What, what, what again do we want? Tell me. What are you asking? What again do we need from Jesus? You know, I'm thinking on to our children, I'm thinking of the church. I have a little bit of different Hallelujah. What do we mean? I lose this form individually. We don't need a life. And for the race, if we didn't, if we didn't rise, we died. So we don't go, we should not go, so we prepare ourselves, prepare our kids to come to church today. But sometimes I'm going to go home by my two, but I'm going to start the night. Sometimes I'm going to go home by the night, but I'm going to go home by the night, but I'm going to go home by the morning, but do you think they're ready to go home? But when I was a woman, I think ready to go in and go in. Because this one will get overnight. So you get up and you're headed for church. You go to the church, you go to the church. But the individual way all the end. And the individual. What do you want to go to? Your body is the temple. That means it must be holy and clean. By the way, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is a reason that is an altar for clean and equality of the Christian man and woman. So we need to know with a clean hand and a pure heart. We need to have a soul to vanity. To come in, I don't know, I think my brother. Family song concerning that. So I'm saying this. When I say it's coming, holy the Holy Spirit. And that door is open. It's open to holiness. As sometimes you say, I think it's happening, you take the farm. So this time, when we are going to thank God for this. God is fighting angels to come and switch them with us. That's why it is going to come to service leaves. It's having an effect on the service. The lady coming to our service, having an effect on the service. So, sister, mother, 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 come in. Holy Spirit. But I'm right. I'm walking. Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. Everybody enter here, enter here with the Holy Spirit. What do you think should happen here? And
is a property of that. So virtue comes when you come here for the first time. We have everything that was so we complete of a non-Christian. Everything. True God. This church here is a hospital. The government of sickness, the government of complaint. The Bible says, we all have gifts, we have different gifts in the name of gifts of healing, but we sign, we go there. So somebody coming here with a sickness, somebody in this church, nobody will be able to go to lay the hand on that individual, and they're supposed to get some results from God. That door open is a holy door. Anything that a brother of God can free from here, if all of us in the corners of God's way. What do all of God say? When two or three of you need to be able 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 to be to be to be able 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 to be Ask God, give us anything but he said, if you are pounded in me, in my name, if they believe it, and I am going to grant it unto you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I stopped testifying in no way. People say, you know something? You never testify to what they say, what are you showing up? But a testimony is to build somebody else. That's what testimony is all about. It. If you have a test of God did something for you, your duty to share it with the congregation or who they come in contact with, let them know. Jesus did for me, he can do it for you. I don't show nothing that. But that's what the kind of test can see. So if I do not think about that. But I am telling you from the time I accepted Jesus, I could testify from now to December month, non stop, the goodness of God towards me. So this morning, hallelujah, this morning, come to close. And if I want to pay a place for you, I'll come again. Jesus is coming again. Some people say, since I'm small, I think she's just coming like it. Yes, I do. I do. I do. But if you wait for his prepare for his coming, and he come and meet you outside the pale of this, we will see. Who will blame for that? That's all. So blame God for that. Blame yourself. The word of God says, when you hear. I will have not your heart. You are all in liberty and in sin, you don't want to but you are all born as sinners. But when you accept that the turn from a sinner, it into a savior. And they say, I said, I don't want to say that one for long and get somebody. And that is it. No, you would have fallen. Definitely you would have fallen. But when you fall, you would stay down. Rise up. And rise up to the wonderful name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So this morning, I want to thank God for this privilege. This opportunity was granted unto me. I want to thank God for this privilege. One. So I didn't even see that in one. <laughs> I told you I just said one. Uh, one. And the wonderful family of Christ is in the number one. So may God bless us all. So um, I will uh, close up a little piece of it. And if I go to the comment again, I'm going to And if I go to the comment again, I'm going to go and receive your advice again. That where I am daily with you, and without you, I would not love you. Jesus said, Thomas asked the question, 
So Master told me, Lord, we do not whether go west, and how can we know the way? This morning, I made a tell you, Jesus told me, I'm telling you all, he is the way. Everybody is trying to tell you otherwise, because the Bible says, everybody who comes to that door and climb up in the way that people are around him. I will say it to us, I was to our handling session, I was telling somebody. If this church belongs to us, let me see, I just wrote it on my head, but I might use it on my head because I'm tired of people coming in and trying to work. But I might be getting to open that door one day. But I might pop the gate again. But I might decide to go through that window. You know, but I might get killed for coming back through that window. Or go be the person who tries to come in here. That's the time we're living now. We see what I might be getting to. Go in. They get a good so you cannot anybody come to you. Any other way, we don't get that. Keep our one. So you must come to that all. Just try to find the door. Any man coming and open, many not and open, he coming and saw me and he put me in. Come. In pastures. So we are up. This morning to complete that door. Let me tell you something. The only the other key to open that door is our master key. And Jesus Christ is the master key of all doors. May God bless you all. May God keep you all. And that we will one day end up getting our mansions in glory. I have a little song to start. Who got that? Jesus come to be here, the mansion for me.
Praise God. We thank God for reaching this plan. You wouldn't say that God is always good? God is always good. Now, God has given us something to keep us until destiny. What is destiny? Death. You know, nobody can get away from that. Everybody have that destiny. But he left us with something that we can live with. You feel the money you have in your pocket is sufficient? Yes. But you will feel that. The clothes you have, you feel it's sufficient? Yes. But there are people. Yesterday, let me tell you something. Yesterday, I was passing with my daughter in key by a certain place. Listen, if you see that house, you would marvel to know that one man built that. And you know what he doing now? And he still have the house there? He's selling by the side of the road. I still wonder why. I can't understand. Sometimes we have, but we figure we don't have sufficient. But here what God is saying, let not your heart be troubled. He believed in God. That is what Jesus said then. Believe also in me. In my father's house, many mansions. You see why I mentioned the house? Now he saw beside the house that he built, but that mansion that we are going in, brethren, thank God for those who know the Lord. Thank God for those who know the Lord. There is a way that whatever there is a way that cement right to man, but then there is end of death. Everything good looking good to us. My daughter called me about two days ago. She said, Daddy, come, 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 look, look, look. About five or six men take out a car. On the phone, I see the day and start to run that house, reverse and get that house. And listen, they break in all the gate there to get inside. And the next car come. I said, wait now, where that? She said, that team is that is team. That this, if I explain to you and you see that, you want to know if that is luck, that is real. And the man inside waiting with his gun. Oh, Lord. And as the brief tongue that hits, I said, Nikki, where you get this phone from? She said, let us send it to see. Well, I think two dead. I don't know if the next one died and the balance run. You ain't get nothing. But when you have Jesus, you have something to be. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it was so, if it wasn't so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, 
I will come and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. It is not sure with you. You could fall away and all everything gone down the drain. But what I'm asking you today, brother, by coming here, brethren and sisters, you leave America to come here to see your parents and to do things that are right. Let not your heart be troubled. Anywhere you go, anything you do, believe in God. And when you believe in God, you believe in who? Jesus. If you believe in God, you believe in and in my father's tongue. And where I am, and whether I go, you will know that if you stay in amen. Yeah. And the way you know you might see the house for your piano. You know, listen, I leave here and I I well, I live here some years now. I fixed over for about 50 or 40 years. And I leave okay. Past to this road, past to that road, past to that road. I don't know where I'm going. I ask him, everybody, where's one so living? But you know what happened? With all the wrongs I make, you know I'm finding house. So this is what the Bible is telling us now. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know, and in my coming back, I didn't have to ask nobody where I'm going. I driving and I driving and I driving from point four then to Cookie. Because you know why? I know the way. And when you know that way to find God, you're going to hear somebody ask the question Who are these? These are those that have passed through great tribulation and have watched. A road in the blood of the land. Here it was standing before the children of God. God will give up his own, but never give up his prayer. We will pass to trials and tribulation, but God is always here for us. Listen, listen, listen to this. Listen, listen, listen to this here. I want you to listen for it before we see it. Do not I love thee, O oh my Lord? Now that question you ask him. God know that. Behold my heart and see, not this heart at all. There is a spiritual heart that serves the Lord. So the Lord with what? A willing heart. And turn each cherished. Idol out. There are idols in our hearts. That is the deed. Do not I love thee from my soul? Your whole body is going to give it to the Lord. Serve the Lord with a willing heart. Then let me not in love. You want better than that? Give the God your whole heart, all for a heart to praise my God, a heart from sin set free, a heart that is sprinkled with the blood, so freely set free. And the beauty laughing is get to my heart every joy. Let us stand and sing. In number. To all land. Yeah. Do not I love thee, O oh my Lord. Thank you, Brother Walter, for the blessing that God has put before you. You remember where you was, and you remember where it is now. Don't go back in that. Yeah. Do not I love thee, O oh my Lord. Behold my heart and see, and turn each cherished idol out that dares. To rival thee. Do not I love
word be a Let the word be a sign of the sea. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Lamb. But you will send you the lion to hunt him. Yeah. Hunt him. But I'm not coming and snatch him. Lord help us and we see him make that mobile try to encourage him. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in Father. We thank you for today. We thank you for today. We thank you for today. And I know why I tell you. We thank you for today. I know why I tell you. Thank you. Lord, you would not, you would not continue to leave us in the state that we are. You're bound to fix it. Hallelujah, and if we are no more to use us, we could make up the first any service. Is that week for the day? All those who are going to leave, leave with them. And when we come at you, we will not praise the praise. And glory for them. Lord, he has to give his life to me. And he said he's going to say nothing good will you withhold from them that will walk up right. How much is that? Fast and sick if it's not a cure. But I need to come back around it. So that he may get some kind of comfort. Yeah, yeah well, you're not telling me how to do your work. No, it's not. Yeah. But grant him a deal. Lord, when that time comes, Lord, he said, don't want to go to hell. We don't need that time. Help us to hear him. Yeah. Help him to hear him to meet you people. Yeah. Because he's not a real opportunity. He's not a real opportunity. Around him, we are praying for him alone. Anybody who wants to be done to know God at this time, because the time is so short, come on, who is that? Lord, and help us to walk out everything, everything to be found out. My Lord, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please, please, each other. We thank you, Lord. We thank God for everything. Everything begins with on our own. So we're going to have the church now. Amen. Praise God. Well done. Good morning, each and everyone. Uh, special welcome to all our visitors. I'm not seeing any new faces. At least we have been here at least one time before the time God for that, and we hope to see you one time more. To the Revelos, God bless you all. It's always a pleasure to see you all with us home with us. This is your home church, so God bless you all. And our Zoom participants, 
Sister Anna King, Sister Donna McCord, Sister Evelyn, Sister Margaret, and Sister Nicole. Lord bless you all. Thank you for joining us as usual. And we look forward to seeing you all next week. Please, God. Uh, we just get the announcement. St. George's Revival Services begin from the 25th to the 29th of July. And Sunday, 31st of July, they give service, which begins with a march from Mingo Road Junction at 2 p.m. to the church. Uh, next Sunday, that is Sunday, July 31st, the pastor and members of Lendo Memorial, Pastor David Richardson, will be visiting us in our Sunday morning worship service at 10 a.m. And St. Bernard number two, Macaulay Clarkson, they invite us to their church's 50th Thanksgiving service on August 13th at 3 p.m. And we look forward to have a letter from Mount Carmel in the Central Baptist Church, that is St. Rick's Church Road, St. Rick's Company, Village New Grant. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We, the members of the above me church, graciously invite you to come and rejoice with us at our five nights of baptism the Bible service, which is to be held on the 15th to the 19th of August 2022 at 7 p.m. Following these proceedings, we will be having our baptism service at 11 a.m. It will be an honor if you would come and give your valuable time to this joyous occasion with your kind presence. We look forward to seeing you there. We all respectfully, Reverend Roger Ramstam. And also remember, this week is our Bible study. Uh, Wednesday at 6 p.m. We are still studying Judah, so please feel free to log on. It is very engaging. Love on, love on, and let us study the word of God. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. Thank you very much, God bless each and every one. As you leave from here, you put your hands in peace and in love, and ask God to follow you with the Spirit and with the power of Jesus Christ. Um, continue wearing your mask. Don't um, throw it away because we have some other sickness coming again. And uh, the sickness wouldn't stop. I could remember the time when I took, took a job when um, this Calypsonian fellow would get there, uh, when he called the sickness, what? You did a scripture or the Calypsonian hurry. Polio. Huh? Polio. Polio. I went and took a job. But the job with David Rudder, the job I did, it was with that injection. It was a scrape on the hand. Let me tell you something. It's the worst thing that ever happened. Now I take three jobs for the um uh, for you uh, for the um COVID nineteen and may I feel nothing have it there, but if you ain't taking your injection, still go and take it. The sickness is terrible. So I remember all the announcements and God is going to bless you all you Come again, um Mr. Lester and all the others and the gentleman in the back. Uh, my brother died with us. So um, continue to take your medication. Praise God, God continue. When I saw many hospital, he sent me in the, in, the, in, the, in the home, in the um, hospital to get medicine for him. The doctor said, well, if he said you to get it, go and get it. I went and I get it, and he didn't help. But he lived with it for about 40 years. But do Continue to put your trust in God, Amen. and you're going to see what God can do. Let us stand and sing. Praise God, God, the Lord, all the land, and the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 